and welcome to day number 117. I think it's 117 anyway. Um, we're actually going to do yesterday's vlog and today's now, which is day number two and three of Mary's mini number two dietary boogaloo. Mm. So, how are we getting on? Well, I did mean to do recording yesterday and kind of didn't <laughs> i uh yeah I'm, I'm i was feeling a bit lazy um which isn't really fair to say i mean i i i was feeling quite lazy but then i went off and i did like this for you know god knows how long this is obviously extremely sped up but this is like this is me working in my nerd cave area just mucking around and getting some miniatures assembled um, because yesterday, being Saturday, uh, I did what I said I was going to do, which is on the day of release, the day that they come out, I went out and I bought a pack of miniatures that look amazing in order to indulge my nerdy hobbies at the same time as I'm doing this, you know? I figure it's a nice little time frame for everything, like 10 days of healthy eating and 10 days of dedicated work every single day, finish off these miniatures, get them looking cool, ready for my games with my friend Lucas, who will eventually be getting stuff and painting it. But, you know, the faster that I do stuff, the more it motivates him to do stuff because he's the one who wants to play the game in the first place and I just like the things because they're pretty. But anyway, anyway... So, uh, Saturday, 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 we got up, we did all of our various different things. Um, believe Saturday was also, yes, Saturday was also the last dose of antibiotics that I'd got uh, as a prophylactic measure from the hospital because of my gallstone passing thing that occurred. Um, so yeah, that was that was good. I don't know if you ever saw them, if I ever showed you them, but the pills were pretty chunky and, uh, and they were pretty hard to swallow. Uh, thankfully, they didn't taste completely awful, so I managed to, you know, like crunch them up in my mouth a little bit after I broke them in half already, um, as opposed to, you know, trying to do it with like, I don't know, have you ever done that, bit into a paracetamol or something by accident when you're trying to swallow it? Oh. Oh, 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 it goes right through you. It's horrible. It's disgusting. And you can never get the taste out of your mouth. Whereas these were fairly tasteless, which was, you know, good. Uh, but anyway, um, there's been no pain or anything, which is good. So it, it, I, I think following the Mary's Mini guidelines is definitely helping. Like, it's not causing, like large amounts of bile to be produced and, and you know, that, that would exacerbate things that would potentially lead to another kidney stone passing or uh, not kidney stone passing, a uh, uh, gallstone passing or something like that. Ugh. Don't want to have that happen again. Uh, so what did we do? We went out late on in the day. We bought my miniatures. We went into a uh, vegans, which is uh, just like a vegan shop uh, in, uh, in the city there. Um, Bought some uh, sort of better than bouillon. It's not really better than bouillon. It's it's like a third party sort of thing. It's it's a, a salt free vegetable stock basically, and oil free as well. Because um, I was running a little bit low on the one that I got from Reva. Now I've had that since I started this, so that that vegetable stock mix has lasted me close on four months it's done pretty good so you know about time to pick up some new one picked up this new one yeah it looks all right i haven't used it yet i'm just draining off the dregs of the last last bit of dry veg stock that i've got so and then after that we went into the shopping center uh, into the east side mall and we wandered around and uh, picked up some clothes that Sigurda was wanting to buy and then we tempted fate because what we did was we went to the food court because Sigurta was hungry, Rowan was hungry, and I was hungry too. Now, I, I've been to that food court a fair few times and there's a lot of different places that have 
vegan and vegetarian items on the menu and most of the places are absolutely brilliant. There's always at least some one dish that I can have from each different place. Mm. But I've never been there while I'm on a Mary's Mini because it's kind of hard just to find like a plain baked potato, let's be fair. And, you know, the, the Mary's Mini itself says, you know, don't eat out at a restaurant or anything like that because you, you can't guarantee what's going on or what's going into anything. Just cut all of it out. And, you know, I was happy to stick by that. And I did the first time I went through the Mini. But I thought, you know what, if there's something there that I can have, if there's somewhere that does like a baked potato and a salad, great, I'll do that. If there's not, it's only about another hour. I'm not massively over hungry so I should be okay and I went to this place called Rapublic which is like spelled like this there you go Rapublic now Rapublic does strangely enough wraps and most of them are like vegetarian or vegan if you squint a little bit I guess like there's like tofu ones and, and they do like beef and chicken and what have you and they also do baked potatoes now thankfully there was someone in line who was asking questions in english beforehand so i didn't have to go up and feel like the complete ignoramus that i am saying oh excuse me do you speak german uh, do you speak english i should say um so i i you know thought that the guy spoke enough english to to sort of accommodate me and and you know <laughs> me not have to rely on too much german and i sort of went up and said, right, okay, I'm, I'm looking for a baked potato that doesn't have anything on it. No butter, no oil, no herbs or spices or anything, just a plain potato that has been baked and salad. Yeah, we can, we can probably do that. So he turns to the, the lady who's, you know, in charge of making the potatoes and says, right, baked potato, dry, nothing. Really? Yes. Really? Yes. Okay, I guess. So she starts, and the guy turns to me and sort of leans over the counter and goes, are you, sh are you sure that you don't want anything on it? Yes, I'm positive. No butter, no oil, nothing. Just like a potato, out the ground, washed a bit, into the oven, pull it out, cut it in half. There we go. All right, okay, weirdo. Well, when you order the potato, you get six sides off the top here and points to all these little dishes now this is quite cool actually so when you order a baked potato you get it on like a like a little wooden chopping board sort of thing that has um circles and ovals sunk into it and what it what it does is it, it holds everything in place so you get the potato in a little bowl and that goes in like a big spot on the board and there's six little spots around it where you can open up these little display counter things on the outside all the way around the shop and take out these little tiny uh, trays, these little tiny dishes that have one serving size of uh, like a, a topping and you're allowed six of them. And I kind of went through and I looked and like there was salsa, but the salsa was literally sitting under like probably about half a centimeter of oil. It was a very oil-based salsa. Um, there was like all these vegetables and stuff. There was sweet corn, but I can't have sweet corn because I'm on a Mary's Mini doing potato like all the other cool kids. <laughs> um, there was like gherkin and cherry tomatoes and a whole bunch of other stuff. So I ended up with some cucumber garlic, uh, cucumber gherkin, sorry, I should say, and some cherry tomatoes. And then uh, because I, I hadn't picked anything, uh, I asked the guy, like, you know, if he could, like, knock together a little salad bowl for me. Just, like, lettuce, onion, bit of tomato that had chopped up, a little bit of rocket, or cilantro, as you would call it, or arugula, one of, whatever it is. Um, yeah, okay, no problem, I guess. Like, it's an extra two euros. Yeah, yeah, that's great. Thanks, man. Da -da -da -da. There you go. Great. So, yeah, and I Instagrammed that because it was, it was very Instagram-worthy. Um, and then we come into today, I suppose. Uh, we'll talk through life events and that sort of thing before we get into showing off pictures of food, because why not? Yeah, let's, let's change things up a bit.
Mm, yeah. Uh, so this morning, it's a Sunday. I slept in a little bit. I was going to take Rowan out first thing this morning so that, um, you know, like so good to have a bit of time to herself. But I slept in, and then by the time I'd gotten up and, you know, sort of like checked on everything, Rowan wasn't particularly interested in going outside. And Saguta was just kind of like, yeah, you know what, I, like I, I've done what I needed to do anyway. So, okay, fair enough. Uh, so we stayed in pretty much all day because there's nowhere we can go, like no shops are open or anything. Like there's places that we can wander to, like play parks and stuff, but Rowan's not been too well the last couple of days uh, anyway, so. Hmm. Um, and we cooked, basically. Uh, I, like, Saguta wanted to make some mashed potato to have with uh, some uh, chicken that she was cooking. Uh, so, I, yeah, all oh, right, well, if we do, like, this entire bag of potatoes that I've got, then uh, you can take half and make your mash with butter and cream and all that stuff in, and I can use the other half to do my mashed potato, which doesn't. I boiled some carrots separately, threw my carrots in, threw my mash in. I took a suggestion from uh, Brian and Jessica in their recent mashed potato video. Now, I don't have American yellow mustard. And I, I've, I've tried yellow mustard, and I'm, I'm not a fan, I've got to say. It's, it's more vinegar than mustard. So what I used instead was uh, Bauernsenf, which is literally like farm or farmer's mustard. Now, I picked that up in Netto for about 80 cents, I want to say. Like, it wasn't expensive at all. Uh, I used, like, four to six teaspoons. Like, quite a, quite a large amount, I want to say. Uh, mixed it all together, and do you know what? It was absolutely lovely. Like, I've still got a portion of that mash just in the fridge. I'm going to keep that for, you know, a couple of days and then have it again because that was amazing. Um, threw together some peas, boiled some peas. Uh, I made like a little um, sort of onion and mushroom gravy sort of thing. Like it was basically just like fry, like, well, I say fry, I mean saute. Saute onions and mushrooms in a pan. Add a bunch of extra water uh, along with a little nutmeg and some other spices and stuff. And then... Once that's all cooking and is, is sort of like, you know, the, the sauce, the, the water is like, you know, nice and, and brown and, and, you know, everything looks cooked. Um, then I took a little bit of the mashed potato from, you know, what I made and I threw that in and stirred it in and that thickened up beautifully. So it's like this really thick gravy coated bunch of onions and mushrooms and I've got a portion of that left over as well. That was amazing. That was so good. I need to make that again. I might need to do like some sort of recipe on that actually. I mean it's not exactly like difficult in any way shape or form. It's just like it was that good <laughs> for something that I threw together randomly. So yeah. Um, what else? Oh yeah I used my wok for the first time so I, I bought this giant a uh, non-stick wok. A couple of, couple of months ago, when I first started doing this, because um, I said, oh, well, we've been wanting a wok for ages. I always make stuff that's too big for the frying pan. If I've got a bigger pan that can be used as like a frying pan or, you know, like for stir fries and stuff, I'll be happy. So I got that. And today, <laughs> three months after I bought it, is the first time I've used it. And that was awesome. Like I, I knocked together some Asian style vegetables, uh, literally just like one of the mixed packets. I just finished off all of that. I threw in, um, threw in a whole bunch of uh, broccoli as well. And I finished off, I think I poured in the peas as well. Like, yeah, possibly, possibly. I know I finished off two packs of something. Like one was the Asian style vegetables. The other was a different type of frozen, uh, frozen veg. But put all that together, I've got another portion of that as well. So that's gonna be awesome. Like that was just done with like some sweet chili sauce. So yeah. Uh, and then we get onto the excitement of the day. Ooh, the excitement. So I've got a I've got a doctor's appointment booked for 9 a.m. tomorrow. So that's gonna be that's gonna be nice to go to. Uh, I've got some documentation for, you know, like like possible treatments of gallstones and things because I want to talk with the doctor and, and sort of weigh everything up uh, and see whether or not, you know, like 
it's a thing that I can I can work to reduce, whether or not I can get rid of them without getting rid of the gallbladder, because, you know, if I don't have to do surgery, awesome. Um, and yeah, like that, that's going to be first thing. Uh, once we've done that, um, I'm possibly going to be going to the DIY shop and buying a new wall socket. Now, Martin, why on earth are you buying a new wall socket, you may be asking. Well, it's because today we very nearly had an electrical fire. Now, um, I didn't take video of it actually happening at the time, but basically when I was getting everything ready for uh, my evening cooking, like my dinner, uh, I was going to just boil up uh, the broccoli in a separate pot. And to do that, I wanted some hot water. So I filled the kettle and the kettle is always plugged in. So I was like, all right, okay, fine. And I pressed the button to switch on the kettle. And instead of the kettle lighting up to show that it was going on, uh, which, you know, it, it, it's got like this little like UV light thing in it that lights up. It's kind of fancy, even though it's old and terrible. Um, instead of that blue light, there was a different blue light, let's say. Uh, and there was, there was some sparks and some smell of ozone and fun things like that coming from the plug. Uh, the uh, the socket on the wall and I could actually see like you know it's it doing stuff I'm like oh dear so flicked off the uh, flicked off the kettle immediately because there's obviously some sort of short going on and then like an idiot like a complete and utter numpty I went well I'd better unplug that now thankfully <laughs> thankfully EU plugs are just as safe, if not safer, than UK plugs. Which means that when I did that and grabbed hold of the plug, I didn't just shoot across the room into these cabinets. Uh, I instead managed to grab hold of the plug and pull. And the plug did come off. Unfortunately, so did the, uh, so did the, the casing that the plug was plugged into, because the, uh, the rest of the plug was in in the socket it was stuck there so uh you know like oh no <laughs> this is this is bad now Saguta was in here and saw it and saw me pull the thing off and go uh oh so uh so she went yeah i said Saguta, i need you to go and turn off all the uh, all the fuses right okay like i i don't know which one it is well it should be labeled kitchen like in german kuchen so off she went and she flicked one and all the lights went off and the fridge turned off and everything but the hob plate was still on. Now, I didn't want to mess around with that so I told it to flick off more. <laughs> so, da -da 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 -da, there we go. The only one that we left on was the living room because Rowan was in there and he was watching cartoons and, you know, if, if he's in there watching cartoons, he's not running in here trying to, you know, touch things or possibly holding on to daddy's leg when daddy gets earthed through so uh yeah so uh i got my i got all of my rubber handled things uh screwdrivers and pliers and all stuff like that because i was like right okay well we need to get the plug out and i'm not putting my fingers in it to take it out all right i'm going to use the rubber so uh you know fought with it for a little while to get it out and uh well i'll um i'll just let the uh the, the imagery speak for me. Uh, when I pulled out the plug, uh, this is this is what I could see, this is what I was looking at, you know, like this this sort of thing inside the inside the socket. And when I pulled it out, um, well, this is yeah, that's um hmm. It's a, it's a little bit melty. <laughs> and then uh, then I had to had to use my pliers and I had to grab hold of this, which is the actual pin that goes in the uh, in the thing and conducts the electricity. I had to yank that out. So uh, thankfully everything was switched off. But uh, yeah, that was that was fun. I've uh, I've now covered it and marked it as unsafe. Like <laughs> now the plug socket itself, like the the one that's attached to it, works absolutely fine. I've got the microwave plugged into that. It's all it's all good. Um, but uh, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna go and buy a new a new socket tomorrow, and we'll just not use that for the time being. 
Because uh, we need to we need to get some lights sorted. Like we've got better lights for in here for above. Like we've got like this five point thing that we picked up the other day. So uh, we're gonna we're gonna try and get that and another set of lights for the living room because we need that putting out and something for the bedroom because it's quite dark in there. Um, and then we're going to call an electrician and hopefully get everything sorted. Uh, I think the main reason is Saguta wants to see whether or not that socket, the one that's just exploded, we can actually get split into another uh, another two. So, uh, so it's a socket for four instead of two plugs. Um, mainly because we're forever plugging things in and unplugging and, and, you know, it's just a bit of a pain, but mm, I don't know. I don't know. But the, the theory is the guy can sort out the lights as well at the same time, so uh, I don't know. Uh, let's see, anything else? Nope, nope, that's, it. that's all the life events, I suppose. Uh, so, let's do some pictures of food, shall we? Here's the, here's the various different things that we, uh, we've eaten, scrolling past one after the other. Um, they all look really good. <laughs> like, this is a thing that I'm, I'm really starting to sort of come to terms with the fact that it looks really really nice even though it's literally just potato and a couple of other vegetables in various different forms i mean like usually i would look at the plate and be like oh the steak on that looks amazing but now i'm kind of at the point where i'm like oh what what do you mean there's there's no like the salad doesn't look very big like, can I, can I not have more? Ah, <laughs> oh, man. I don't know. Also, a thing that I've noticed as well, I'm actually struggling a lot more with the Mary's Mini this second time round. Not for, like, not for, like, an eating perspective or, like, sticking with it. That's absolutely fine. No, the thing that I'm having trouble with is I keep having cravings for stuff. Like, I, I keep wanting to eat various different things. Um... I mean, I, I managed to sort of live vicariously through Brian and Jessica the other day because uh, for Brian's birthday, they took a, they took a vacation day, as it's called, um, or as they call it anyway. So they, they started sending me, like, pictures of, of like, pizza and, and, like, things that they were eating and, like, little bits of meat and stuff. Because um, on, on a vacation day, anything goes. And, oh, it looked amazing. But... Like, it, it was it was more just like, oh yeah, like, I can see what you're having, it's bringing someone pleasure, like, I like I would totally order something that's like that, but slightly different. And that was, that was actually quite cathartic, that was quite nice, that was quite good. Um, of course, it, it, it wasn't like, you know, it's obviously not from a, a mean-spirited point of view, but it, it, like, I'm looking at it and I'm like, I, I could totally have that <laughs> if I wasn't, you know, the entire opposite side of the planet and, you know, <laughs> having having issues processing fats and stuff. Um, yeah, like, I, I, these cravings and stuff that I've been having, I think what it is, is this time round, this second time round, it's not just a choice thing. It's not, oh, well, I can have that anytime and just put off wanting to eat like a chocolate bar or something no i think what it is is this time round i don't want to like cause any issues because of the gallstones uh i don't want to experience that amount of pain again and the easiest way to not experience that amount of pain again is like diet control for the time being so instead of eating anything that's like greasy or has fat like i'm even more like against having that stuff in my diet now so i'm like I, I i'm i'm not able to eat the things that i was usually able to just say oh well i'll, I'll just eat it later you know and put it off and out of my mind for a while so now it's like there's this extra element to it where because i can't have it because i shouldn't have it or else bad things will happen now the temptation's coming in you know, <laughs> so mm -hmm. fun, fun and games, isn't it? Never mind. Well, we're doing we're doing well anyway. Like I'm still eating my eating my two meals a day. I know it should be three, but 
you know, like there's only so many things you can do with potatoes for breakfast and I'm not really a morning person in any way, shape or form. I like sleep too much. But, uh, hmm, hmm, never mind, never mind. We will, we will learn to live with it. Or tomorrow, hopefully, we'll have good news from the doctor and we won't have to live with it too much longer and then I can eat a pizza again. Of course, I, like, I don't know, I, I think I might have told you about this, I don't know. Thursday, the day that I had the, uh, had the, had the gallstone problem, the gallstone passing, where I got admitted to hospital, uh, and given very ineffective pain meds, um, I literally just taken delivery of the pizza that me and Rowan were going to eat that day. Like, literally just got it in my hands, and then, uh, So, I missed out on that, and that was a, an amazing pizza. I should have took pictures of it. Like, it's only from Domino's. Like, but Domino's Germany tends to be a little bit better quality than Domino's UK. I don't know what it's like for Domino's America. I'm guessing, like, a much higher standard anyway. But it was, like, just a, a cheese pizza with, like, broccoli and, and onions and peppers and just covered in vegetables, just this mountain of veg. And I was so looking forward to it because it's been a while since I had cheese now. And I'm like, that would have been glorious. And I can't have it. <laughs> I definitely can't have it up until I've got this sorted out. Um, so yeah, like, oh, mm, never mind. Never mind. As we would say in, in magic circles, sadness goes on the stack. It can't be counted. It resolves. Of course, there's nothing you can do about it. You can't stop being sad. It's just gonna happen. Never mind. Never mind. Mm. Oh, well. Right, okay. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna edit this down and we are going to have this put up and done before midnight. Damn it, I, I need it to be done before midnight. It's half past 11 now, I can see, because one of my lights has a, a clock in it. Half past 11 now, have this finished before midnight, and then I'm gonna sit and I'm gonna paint stuff for a little bit. And I'm gonna record it, and then at the end of all of this, I will hopefully have a little time-lapse video of me painting and putting together some spiky, spiky boys and girls that I can, uh, I can show off a little bit, because you know what? Why not? Why not? Right, thank you very much for joining me. I hope to see you again tomorrow, and uh, yeah, have a good one. Bye-bye.